Hey y'all, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Sharanda. If you are new here, thank you so much for um, tuning in. I hope and pray that you will stay. Um, if so, um, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you su subscribe. Um, if you are returning, um, thank you so much for returning. On September the 9th, um, God said to me, Superior Locke. Then he said, Francesca AI. Then he said, this is the robot that is trying to replace me. He is referring to AI in human-like robots trying to replace him because he is the one that is the original creator of intelligence. And there was nothing artificial about the intelligence that God created, often imitated, which is what they're doing, never duplicated. You cannot duplicate God or the work of him. God got this on lock, superior lock. No matter how smart the robot is, no matter how smart the person behind creating the robot is, God is superior over any robot they can ever create. And as we know that um, AI is artificial intelligence, why do we need robots with artificial intelligence when we have humans with real intelligence? Are we humans not in intelligent enough? Are you saying what God created isn't enough for you that a robot can do it better? What is the point in all of this? Um, they have created a being with intelligence of a human, something God has already done. And, you know, um, scientists, you know, they think different, you know, they think different, um, which this is, shouldn't even be a surprise to any of us, considering that they are trying to create a world to coexist with human-like robots. And by the way, the devil can cannot create, but he uses what God has already created to make it work for him. And it's crazy that some of these scientists do the exact same thing. Yet many of them don't believe in God. They want to use what God has already created for their benefits. Um, how in the world can you replace God? And they doing it and probably don't even realize that they're doing it. Okay. Um, God got the superior lock on all of it. All of it. Okay. He said it himself. Um, having people impressed by their in inventions and high intelligence. AI is going to turn into another type of idol for many people and push people further away from God. It's just something else for people to worship. And as I was preparing my notes, um, God said to me, I robots, I robots. Then I, I fell, fell back asleep and I went into a dream where I saw a robot. And y'all, this thing had skin. Yes, skin, okay? And I assume it was like a replica of skin, a skin, skin. <laughs> because only God can make a skin that I know of. It had a skin-like condition. Um, it had like little square dark patches all over the face and up and down the arms um, i'm not sure what those patches meant I'm not sure if god was just showing me that so i can know that this this robot was human like i don't know um but it scared me to see all of those patches y'all because i was all up in this robot's face like i was so close to this robot i was so close to it and it it was it was bald headed okay um, now I can deal with a robot looking like a robot, you know, like, but not human like, you know, that's a bit, bit too much. When you get a chance, go on YouTube and type in Euro News. Um, they did a video about a year ago, but it's still relevant today, um, showing how scientists put living skin on a robot that can heal when cut and has wrinkles too. That's the name of the video. And if you don't do anything else, y'all, go look at Amica and Sophia the Robot. Amica and Sophia the Robot. Especially Sophia. It's creepy. Um, Sophia looks like she has real skin on her face and neck and hearing her talk. It sounds like a human, a real human. But I wanted to see why God said our robot. Um, so I watched the movie last night, um, but in the movie, Will Smith character made a statement that stood out to me, and I was taking notes while I was watching this movie. He, his character said, those robots don't do anybody any good. And as I kept watching, there was a lady on there that had the job of making the robots seem more human. So this is a real job, y'all, okay? So I don't know if this is the job of this Francesca lady God was referring to or not 
but as the lady was speaking in the movie god put the thought of her in my mind okay um this lady also said in the movie a robot cannot harm a human being but as i was watching this movie it showed me that a robot can harm a human being if it has been manipulated to do so but what we are failing to realize is that the devil can use what has been created and manipulated into what he wants it to be for his gain his purpose and his plan all right but in the movie there was a facility where robots were building robots they were making themselves okay also another thing that stood out to me in this movie was that the robot sonny was programmed different he was able to have dreams and bypass the laws that were instilled in the in the other robots um suddenly the robot killed his maker because his maker provoked him to do so um emotions can be a dangerous thing you know even apparently to the robot and because you're giving them intelligence and you go program these robots to have emotions and, sh and show emotions um this is dangerous y'all okay um, suddenly the, the robot said you have to do what people tell you to do if you love them he was saying that his maker told him to kill him that's what i got from him. obviously the maker did not believe that a robot can kill a human but it did and i will say this it takes one evil person to manipulate the system to corrupt the robot all right and at the end of the movie if you look at the side of Sonny's head in the inside you can see the square like patches that i saw in my dream they were white in the movie these patches were the same size patches i saw in the dream but a different color not sure what those patches meant um if anything at all but i just happened to see that but when you get a chance go watch the, the movie it was a very good movie i probably um, can watch it over and over that's how good it was um i can see why god referenced that and brought that to my attention to watch um the possibility of what can or could happen was in that movie all right the movie is old but the movie is very good all right um there was some language that was in there um that i did not agree with but i overlooked it um because god said i robot to me and i watched i watched it i wanted to see what he was referring to and what baffles me is that why people don't care about making god mad that should scare them and the point that it doesn't is even more scarier and probably have not even thought about god not one time during the process of them making these robots okay because everybody don't believe in god all right uh, we play too much god in heaven is not pleased with this this is why he, he spoke on this okay this is an example of using your gifted hands that god gave you not your lowercase g god he lowercase g god did not give you this stuff he didn't give you those gifted hands and your intelligence that god gave you in your own way um i talked about that in a few videos back and when god said to me francesca ai i typed it in google because i'm like who in the world is francesca and i typed it in youtube thinking you know that i was gonna see maybe a robot named francesca <laughs> but francesca is an ai scientist um she has an extensive length of ai research background and I was wondering why God said her name to me. And I was wondering what was her connection to AI and these robots. So doing my research on her on Google, um, she has her hand in the ethical issues in the development of AI systems. Um, assuming human-like robots as well. I'm not sure how deeply she will be involved or has already been involved. Um, but seems to me she plays a very important role concerning this. All right. And for God to speak her name to me at AI, he is not happy. Um, to a certain extent, um, God doesn't have a problem with AI itself, but because this is the world of technology, right? But he has a problem with the robots being human-like, okay? Because he did not create human-like. He created humans, okay? And we have to think about how God is feeling about this because we only see how far they have gone with these robots so far but god can see how far they are actually going to go with this god can see this okay 
and for him to say to me this is the robot that is trying to replace me and then give me this lady's name and then mention the movie i robot he is not happy all right so my advice to the world of artificial intelligence and to the creators of these human-like robots, tread lightly, okay? Tread lightly. Like God said, he has the superior lock on this, all right? So that's all I have for you all today. Um, I know this is like a different type of message, um, but I have to, have to speak on what God gives me to speak about, okay? Um, God is not pleased with this. He is not pleased with this. So, tread lightly, all right? Um, I will see you all in the next video. Y'all know how I am. I, I don't like calling out people names. Oh, my goodness. It's just, it does something to me. But if God says it, I have to say it. I have to say it, okay? Um, I don't think I said anything bad or wrong or out the way or anything like that. Um, God said what he said. God said what he said, so I have to say it, okay? So I will see you all in the next video. And please consider on subscribing if you have not, okay? And I will see you all next time, all right? And enjoy the rest of your day.